What's up legends? Welcome back to another video. I hope you are doing well. Uh, this is a video I am super excited to be making for you because it has been a long time coming and one that a lot of people, uh, well a lot of you guys that have been following me on Instagram have been asking to see because a few months ago I posted a video uh, touring a new house project that I'm working on with my friend Fab who can't be here today unfortunately to do this tour with us but I'm going to put his Instagram on the screen right now. This is a project we've been working on together for a while and uh, I did a kind of mid-construction video and then I was posting a lot more on my Instagram. My Instagram's gonna be on the screen as well right now. Um, and bit by bit it's come along and it's basically done. We're like 90% of the way there. Uh, there's like finishing touches to do. I'll walk you around some of those today. But I thought, why not show you the video? Because I've been staying here for, uh, for four or five days. Um, so yeah, finally I've kind of gotten used to the house, been living in it. So um, yeah, I thought I would give you a little little bit of a tour. Um, I'm not going to be here all the time, obviously. Uh, maybe some of you guys will be able to come here eventually. And for that, we've actually created an Instagram called Villa Zen Gardens, which is the name of the house. And on there you have an email. So if ever you're you know potentially interested in this house for next year or anything like that, please just shoot us an email um, and we'll just be posting photos, videos, whatever of the finishing touches we add to the house and the house being used. So yeah, we're about five minutes from Saint Tropez. Um, unfortunately, I hope there's not too much wind noise or airplane noise. There's been a pretty dramatic fire uh, nearby last night um, it was it was pretty scary it came really not far from here and a few people were evacuated not far um, hasn't happened in ages here but I just hope everyone's okay and these fires that are going on all around in the, in the world are, are pretty terrifying so yeah just thinking of, of, of everyone who's been affected by this and uh, I apologize if there's the planes passing above us at any point during this video and also there's some ash kind of around the house um, there's not much I can do about that so um, yeah if ever you, the car looks dirty or anything looks a bit dirty it's because there's been a bunch of ash which was kind of dumped overnight on the house anyway let's now get into it this I'm gonna give you the full tour of the house we're at the front gate right now it's a five bedroom four bathroom house um, I'm gonna start with the exterior and then we're gonna do the full interior so this gate is eventually going to be automated um, but as I say there's a few finishing touches which need to be made this is the view that greets you when you arrive in the house. So I've got the Porsche here currently, the 911. Um, and what, I mean, I'm just so pleased with the way that looks when you come in. You've obviously got the gravel driveway, which is about a four to five car driveway. Um, we've fit four in here for now, but I reckon you could fit five. You can put one down there, two here, two here. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's just a really nice, even driveway, easy to get into. So uh, easy for supercars. And we, it, you come in and you're instantly greeted. So the idea is that we wanted this to be kind of like a jungle vibe house. So that's why there's all of these plants all over. It's very green. And we've left a lot of things kind of overgrown because we wanted it to have that vibe and wanted to give it that kind of shock as soon as you came in. So as soon as you come into the house, as you can see, you're greeted by all of this greenery, overgrown greenery, and that's kind of, uh, yeah, done on purpose. There's no covered garage for now, but we're thinking of maybe putting a little cover around the end of the garage right there. Um, but right now, I just kind of leave the car the way it is, um, as you see it here. It looks great here, doesn't it? I'm so, I'm so happy having the car here. Anyways, so you come around here, that's kind of all uh, taken off by these little stones, and then you've got all of these nice plants. I'm a huge fan of all of these plants, which go all the way around. Two massive palm trees, which again, finishing touches, house is 90% done, are going to get cleaned up. Well, the plan was that they get cleaned up, but then we thought it kind of went with the jungle vibe, having them with this look. I don't know, tell me what you think. Um, you've obviously got some sun lounges, this really nice grass as well. Um, so full watering system. I mean, I'm gonna maybe get a little bit geeky. There maybe are some things you guys do not care about at all, which I'll tell you about at some point in this video, but uh, I find them kind of fun. As you can tell, this is, it may be a bit surprising to some 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 of you watching. Why is it all completely covered up the the fencing um, until this point? Well, this is all bamboo, which looks great. And again, we've left overgrown at the top. They came to cut it, so it was all even. And we actually said, you know what, just leave it. I like that kind of overgrown look. Um, now it's all bamboo, which looks great. But a you lose about a meter fifty of garden space right there, which is not ideal. And B, they've actually got really strong and um, long roots, which we didn't want to inflict on the garden kind of all the way through. 
So that's why the bamboo stops then. We've planted these new plants, which are going to grow fairly quickly and block out this whole area as well. So it will kind of be continuous, but they're not going to be quite as destructive to the garden as the bamboo. So that is why that area right there is not covered, but it will be soon, give or take a year, let's say, and it'll be completely covered. So you've got a few sun lounges right here. You can see the rest of the, of the driveway as well, which comes in. And then you've got this kind of paddle pool. It's not a huge pool, but it's perfect for over here. I mean, I'm filming this at 9 a.m. purely because if I filmed any later, it would just be too hot to be outside this long, basically. It was 34, 35 degrees yesterday, um, so it's boiling over here. So this is yeah, a really nice little um, paddle pool. Uh, it's, it's perfect for when you want to just cool off. It's about 28 degrees right now without a heating system. Just naturally heats up to that temperature. 28 degrees, you can kind of jump in there, dip in, and it's lovely. I mean, there's been so much wind, so there's all of these, you see all of the leaves all over the place and the ash, as I mentioned, but that's just kind of the way it is. These little plants around, so we've tried to add these plants all over the place. So I'm going to do the full exterior tour, but while I'm here, this is kind of like a garage underneath. Um, obviously not for cars, more for storage of things like kayaks that we've put in there, panel boards. Uh, we're thinking of putting electric scooters because you're only a five minute drive from the center of Saint-Tropez. But there's so much traffic here that if you had a little electric scooter, we could add like two or three little electric scooters then and they would be ideal to go into town. So this is kind of toy room, toy storage. Um, five minute walk from the beach here. So you can take your kayak down, no problem. Two people to carry it, it's super easy. Go down to the beach and then you're chilling. Snorkeling gear, all that stuff goes in there. Now we've got these little statues like the crocodile, the little lion here, all over the place again to go with the kind of jungle theme of the house. More plants here. And then this is really cool. So this is a company called Atmosphere Green. So on the last video, you know, I asked a bunch of people to kind of get a touch to help with the house. This is actually a really good friend of mine does this. So these are not real. These are fake plants actually, but they look fantastic. And uh, I just love the look it gives to this wall. Uh, just completely brings it to life and again, continues in that Zen Gardens um, kind of feel. Really like this area we're coming to here. This is the kind of tanning hangout, um, hangout area. This is more linked to the rooms, which I'll show you later. It'll make more sense later. Little coffee table, morning coffee table. I've been having my morning coffees here um, quite a bit. So, so nice as well. Um, again, all finished in bamboo, slightly used look. And this is, yeah, your sun lounger hangout area. So four big sun loungers uh, with the parasols. These are all really nice and private. And right now, I mean, it's 9 a.m., but you can see the sun is coming over. And when the sun passes that point, oh, uh, look, here we've got the planes for the fire coming by. That's so sad. I hate seeing that. I mean, I just hope, yeah. I just hope everyone's okay, it's pretty scary. Anyway, we, um, yeah, I was saying that the sun, once that comes round, you've got the sun all day long hitting these sun lounges because it, it, uh, sun, the sun sets right behind that hill right there. So you get incredible sunsets every day. Um, and it's just fantastic also if you want to tan right here because you've basically got the sun all day on these sun lounges. And they have direct access to the downstairs ba uh, bedrooms, which I'll show you in a second. Oh, here he is, Fab. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? Hello. I've just, I'm just doing the outside tour. I'm going to keep going. Good to see you. Um, okay, so those are, that's the sun lounger and that whole area. You then come up these stairs right here, um, and they bring you to the upper area of the exterior of the house. This being Saint-Tropez, obviously the exterior is what gets used the most, which, uh, I mean, the interior is still stunning, but this is where, you know, you spend a lot of your time. So we've really, you know, gone all out on this, doing all new, um, you know, kind of flooring, um, all new furniture, but that's going to change as well a little bit. I'll explain in a bit. So you come across, first of all, you have this huge balcony, really nice, where you have direct access onto the pool. So this is nice if there's people in the pool on the sun lounges. You can speak to them from up here which is just really pleasant and the view is so cool. If you're geeky like me and like seeing your car, it's awesome to be able to see it in the view with the pool. And then you get this awesome, awesome view here. So this is kind of what it's all about. You have the view over uh, the port right there, um, which is just stunning and all the way, again, because of the fires, you've got quite a bit of smoke. So you can't see as far as you usually would. 
but really clear, unfiltered, un, un kind of ruined by a big building view. And you've even got Gaston village up there, all the vineyards. It's, it's so beautiful. It's crazy that you're so close to town, yet you kind of feel completely um, in your own little slice of peace and quiet, which is why we've called it Villa Zen Gardens. Anyways, back around the big balcony, you can see the sun starting to come out. And then you get here to the outdoor dining area. So this is a lovely table which can be extended. Um, so really nice. Basically, we've been having dinner here every day because it's so nice and, and uh, warm in the evenings. So you come straight through from the kitchen. You've got a little outdoor sink. Love the style of this sink. Um, and then here right there, if you want to just put some drinks or whatever, a big cool box, you can do that here so that you've got everything outside. Now, this is, I think, one of the most used areas of the house. It's the little kind of drinks, chill out area on the top terrace. A barbecue, if you're going to do a barbecue. Now, this furniture actually is going to change. This is going to go to another terrace I'll show you right now. Um, but it's, yeah, I mean, it's just here temporarily because, again, as I say, we've been using this so much. But eventually, this is going to change. So, as I said, 95% done, not completely done. Um, so just furniture changes and stuff like that, but all of the structure of the house is completely finished. So you got this nice seating area, which I honestly love, really spacious, and you got that awesome view again, down kind of the valley and then onto the pool. Uh, let's go around this way, actually. I'm gonna show you this. Okay, sorry guys, my camera had a little bit of a spaz out, but as I was saying, the house is not entirely, entirely finished. For example, this eventually, we have little fish swimming around in it. The water level is gonna be a little higher. It's going to be cleaner. We've got more of the atmosphere green um, the vegetation right here. I mean, it looks so cool. And again, is really going with that um, yeah, Zen garden feel. you got access, well, access. you got windows towards one of the rooms there. I'll show you that in a bit. And here you have the sauna. Now, this is going to be done around September. Um, so you can see the structure of it. Uh, now, but they're going to change it so the door is going to be in glass. There's going to be lots of glass down here so that when you're sat in the sauna, which is going to be a nice big sauna, you have this view of uh, this little pond area and of um, the kind of wildlife that's going on over here. So that will be really cool once that's done. I'm so excited, but that's going to take a little while. Just couldn't get everything done in time, unfortunately. You then come through behind the sauna. And you have, first of all, access this time to the master bedroom. And the master bedroom actually has its own terrace. So the furniture that I showed you on the terrace over there is actually going to end up right here. So this is why I wanted to make this video a little bit raw, by the way, as well, because uh, I've been watching all sorts of real estate-y um, YouTube videos and the high production stuff. And I often felt like I was kind of getting lost during the tour. So I wanted to make it raw so that you can kind of really visualize the house, where everything is, and uh, yeah, give me feedback if you have any as well. So this eventually is gonna have that furniture you saw earlier, maybe another barbecue, and we're gonna make actually a really nice handmade wooden uh, table around this structure, which is gonna be really nice. Um, so that's, uh, that's gonna be arriving soon, windows towards the bathrooms. And then, so you come up here, this is the main area which isn't finished yet. Um, so up here, as you can tell, is not finished. Now, you have no reason to kind of come up here uh, at the moment, but eventually what we're going to do for um, a little while now is put a pétanque, um, uh, so like games area, so little football goals, uh, maybe a, a ping pong area, um, all that sort of stuff, kind of little games area, which will be really nice. Then here we've got all of this um, nice kind of walkway, again with all the plants, you can see the sauna, you can see down towards the pond, the terrace, so here you walk behind the terrace um, and the dining area. You have this barbecue, which needs a little clean up, but it's a fantastic barbecue. Um, that we haven't quite decided where it's going yet. So right here you have the terrace, and this is where you can see that kind of overgrown look that we really wanted to go for, um, which I think looks fantastic. So, it, you know, obviously we couldn't have it all completely, you know, done straight, everything uh, in the same angles, but this kind of jungle uh, aspect is really nice. So you kind of come through here, all of the wood around you to, I think this is maybe my favorite area, the hot tub area. So a little sun lounger again with its parasol and then these big wooden steps up to the jacuzzi, the hot tub, which has, I think, the best view of the house. So you have the view of the pool, 
the sun lounges, you got the palm trees, and you got the view over the whole bay right there, which is so, so nice. The house as well. And this is where you can really see, so, you know, the privacy of the terrace area um, with these overgrown plants, which is really nice. And that's just going to keep growing as well. And it will just be so nice once that surrounds completely all the rails over there. Um, it will be lovely. And here you can kind of see that area that we uh, haven't quite built on yet that will be used um, eventually. Again, finishing touches need to be added down here. But there's the hot tub. And that's pretty much it for outside. Um, so if you come back from here, we're just going to walk past. There's Fab and Marion just having a little chat. Hello, guys. Hello. hello, hello. <laughs> we're going to go and do the inside of the house now. So you walk in here, everything's been repainted in this really nice kind of bluish gray, um, which looks really, really good. So all the shutters, the doors, everything's uniform. So you come in here and first area you get into is this kind of um, welcome area, which is, yeah, we've tried to keep it. So the whole aspect of the interior you'll see is to try and be kind of really nice, big open spaces. So some of the uh, art that's been put up is with the saint -Tropez theme, as you can see. These are all big cupboards for your kind of winter coats or the cushions that go outside and things like that. I'm actually going to close this. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, and here you have the main living room, which again is not entirely finished. For example, we don't have the chairs for around the dining table yet. Those haven't arrived. So we've just kind of put what we could, you know, get together in the meantime so that we could use the dining table. Um, here you've got these awesome... Um, sofas which are so comfortable little uh, coffee table more Saint-Tropez themed art but what I really like is that you have direct out access to the outside so straight from the living room that's the view that greets you onto the pool makes it really easy in indoor outdoor living um, big windows all over the place really nice wooden dining table big dining table um, and look, all of these windows, I mean, I haven't opened them all up, but they all slide open completely so that you can just come outside straight onto the terrace and straight onto that view. When you're sat here, so for example, if you're working or even just eating and you're sat here with that view, it's so nice in the morning. And also if you just want to have like a nice dinner or you want to be in the shade during the day and it's a bit cooler inside than outside, you can open everything up and again, feel like you're basically outside whereas you're actually sat in the living room. So really nice big open space. We still need the TV to arrive. And one thing which is really nice, which you don't get too often in houses around here, um, but that you, I think you really need is there's air con in every room. Every room has its separate air con unit, um, which is really nice. So you can really control the, um, the temperatures around the house. Then you come through this little archway into I think one of my favorite areas of the house, the kitchen. I'm such a fan of this kitchen. It has everything you need. So first of all, you walk in, welcome to Zen Garden. Again, I'll put the Instagram on the screen um, just in case if you guys want to get more information on the house. Big fridge, big American style fridge. And then um, you have literally everything you need. So you have your electric cooking, your gas cooking, you even have a plancher. Um, for if you're cooking your steaks or whatever, you've got all of that here. Um, your new extractor fan, you've got your microwave, you've got your oven, everything is new, everything is, yeah, I mean, it's just top-notch stuff. Really, really, really pleasant to cook in. If you enjoy cooking, it's so nice. I really enjoyed it. And you have this great view again from the kitchen. So whenever I was cooking, just come here, open this up, and um, yeah. You're just enjoying the sunset, which as I said, sets behind those mountains. So if you're cooking in the evening, you get to watch the sunset as you're cooking. And it's really nice. I really, really enjoy this kitchen. Right, then you come through here towards the master bedroom area. So you have two bedrooms upstairs, three downstairs. Here you have a little um, uh, like bathroom for when you have guests you know, over for dinner or whatever. Everyone's kind of having a big dinner around the dining table there. They can just come here to go to the toilet. And then right next to that, separate obviously, we still haven't received the final doors. So st these are still the con construction doors, excuse me. Um, and eventually the real ones will arrive. So little details like that, again, still need to be finished. This is the master bedroom where, where I've been sleeping for a while. So kind of put the bed together quickly there. And it's really nice and spacious. Again, we're missing kind of bedside tables, little lights, things like that. But we're basically there. Aircon, 
as I mentioned in all the rooms, uh, access to your master terrace, which is lovely, and to the sauna right there. So if ever you're going sauna straight to the room, really easy access. Come back in. This has a really nice bathroom. I'm a fan of this bathroom. So the bathroom you go through here, past this really nice little fencing thing. Lovely bath, jet bath, huge bath right there. Two sinks, big mirror, and then this Moroccan style um, shower, which is lovely. Lots of storage as well, if needed, in the bathroom. And your toilet. All done again with this, uh, with this nice finish. So really nice bedroom, this one. And it has connecting, so for example, if there's only a couple staying here, or a family of four, whatever it may be, you have this, which used to be the dressing area, which is now we've made into a separate bedroom. But that Marion and I have been using kind of as, a, as our dressing room, laying all our clothes out on the bed, and using this to store our luggage and things like that. This can be a separate room if you want it to be. So the idea is either if you want it, it can be your closet area, it can be your, if you have young kids, it can be a connecting room like in a hotel to make sure the kids are doing okay. Or you can close and lock this door right here. And then it becomes its own separate bedroom, which can use the bathroom we saw earlier uh, and showers downstairs. It's got this nice view actually, that should be open, but you've got you know nice greenery straight from the window, um, good light coming in. And then if you've locked it off, you can use this other door, which brings you straight into the living room as separate access so that it really does become its own bedroom. So yeah, that is the two upstairs bedrooms and the whole upstairs of the house. Now we can come downstairs, nice dark wall right there. Downstairs, so there's also a lot of really cool lighting all around the house. So for example, even the pool lights up in different colors, loads of outdoor lighting throughout all the plants and things like that. So the house looks awesome at night as well. That was one thing we really wanted to um, emphasize on. So you come down these stairs, so completely new, chunky as well. So they feel nice and chunky, these stairs. Um, you come down here, again, a few things to be finished. That mirror is gonna go up boom, all along there, there, which will look great. And let's, uh, let's start with this bedroom right here. So you come down straight to the right, you have this lovely bedroom. Um, we're looking for names, each bedroom is going to have a name. Again, the final doors haven't yet arrived for this room. Um, big bed, they all have big double beds, um, each one of these bedrooms. Um, and this one actually has its own bathroom. So with the toilet and its own shower, finished with this nice stone, which looks great. Um, so that's really nice. So you can be completely independent in this room. We still need to put, again, those mirrors up. Um, really nice modern bathroom in here. And all of the downstairs rooms, as mentioned earlier, have access to the garden. Direct access to the sun lounge area. And then if you just walk right there, straight over to the pool. So if you're in the pool and you need to come get something from your room, you don't need to pass through the house. You can just come straight in and not get everything wet, it's really convenient. Um, so yeah, this is room number three then. Big storage area as well. You've got then this bathroom, um, which is, hello, nice finish as well. Um, so really nice big mirror, nice little artwork there, and then this big shower as well. So this is the bathroom for the next two bedrooms nice little kind of welcome area down here. So the next two bedrooms, you have this one. So the next two bedrooms, you have this room, which is lovely, again, with this kind of beach vibe. Mirrors need to go up. Big bed again, um, air con like in every room, and access straight out again, just along from the pool and the sun lounger area. I really like this bedroom, it's really nice. It gets really bright the other day, obviously with it being quite early, the sun hasn't quite hit yet. And this, which I think may be one of my favorite rooms, again, mirrors need to go up, nice little chair there. This is a huge room. So this is a really long room, which makes the bed actually look much smaller than it is. It's a really big bed. Um, Aircon again, beach fiber. What's amazing about this room is you actually have direct access 
to the pool through these big windows and this is so nice when everyone's out here just relaxing you can come straight out and you even when you get up from bed if you again you're geeky about cars you have the view straight onto your car there which uh which i i really like i've enjoyed i actually slept in here uh two nights um and and really really like that room and when you come out you're straight into that zen garden kind of vibe uh but yeah i mean that's I think that's basically the whole tour of the whole house. You've seen the outside, you've seen the inside. It's so, so cool to finally see it done. I mean, there's obviously so much kind of work that goes into a project like this. Fab knows a lot more than I do and he's kind of guided me through a lot of this. And um, yeah, I'm so happy that it's now up. That's why I'm so happy to have the Instagram to be able to share things with you guys and share a video like this. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you think we should add to the house, uh, any changes we can do. Thank you to everyone who has been involved, because after the last video, we got a lot of emails and a lot of people who actually ended up being involved, helping with things like the pool, the plants, the whatever it may be. So that's really nice, getting you guys involved in a project like this as well. The sun is really bad now, because it's just coming up, so it's giving me this, this weird shade. But yeah, when I look around and, and see this, it just feels surreal. I'm such a fan of this house. It feels really nice and homey as well when you're staying here. Um, but it's so much fun to have your friends around and things like that. So many different areas. You can have some friends up there having a drink, some friends tanning, some friends in the pool, some friends inside cooking. It's so, so, so pleasant. So uh, yeah, that's basically a full tour of the house. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know again, as I said, in the comments down below. Subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. It means the world to me. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. As I said, thumbs up, my camera ran out of battery, so I'm gonna have to do this really quick. Thanks for all. It ran out again. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>